so it begins the cleanup and aftermath of Beryl. Thanks for joining us at four o'clock as we examine more closely the damage from the storm. Good afternoon to you. I'm Mia Grad. And I'm Marcelino Benito. It has now been 12 hours since the storm made landfall near Matagorda just before four this morning. And we have live team coverage bringing you the latest as we recover from the category one storm. We start with meteorologist Pat Kaplan, though. Pat, I think I see a few peaks of sunshine through our door here. Isn't it amazing? 12 hours ago, this storm is making landfall in in Matagorda County and now the sun is starting to break out. Just unbelievable how fast this thing came through and how much damage it did in uh, in the process. Look at these rain totals here. Just look at the colors on the map from coastal Brazoria, Matagorda County, Fort Bend, Galveston, all the way through the city of Houston and the heart of Harris County. We had some big time rain totals. These are 24 hour totals over uh, seven and a half inches in the city, over nine inches in Almeda, nine and a half inches out towards Hunter's Creek Village. Village, and then a little farther south into Brazoria County, nearly nine inches of rain in Angleton, 8.1 inches in Sweeney. We get you down to street level with the KHOU 11 neighborhood weather network. And look at this. These are just rain totals in the last 12 hours. We've got uh, five inches up towards Winston Street, Fagan Street 7.22, seven and a third inches from uh, Willow Moss Court uh, as we get you up towards the Cypress area, a little bit lower, but still huge rain numbers, 5.73 inches out towards Hemi House, San Saba River uh, Court, nearly five or just over five inches of rain. So a lot of these five to eight inch totals, once you get outside of the city, down to Galveston County, Avenue J uh, in the Dickinson area, five and three quarters of an inch over five and a half inches for Grand uh, Haven and then as you get into the Nassau Bay area out towards Kima generally four to five inches of rain so again the big swath of rain really came through Brazoria County and Harris County with this storm tornado outbreak ongoing across Northeast Texas now that's the the core of the storm look at all of these tornado warnings around the Shreveport area two confirmed on the ground right now a lot quieter here we've got cloudy skies but finally conditions have improved that being said the damage done from the flooding. We've got high bayou levels, especially White Oak and Buffalo Bayou flooding ongoing with both of these bayous out of their banks at uh, Heights Boulevard, Shepherd Drive, Milam Street, uh, Allen Parkway totally flooded along Buffalo Bayou. Also South Maid Creek at Greenhouse Road. That is out of its banks. Good news though, Attics and Barker both are well below their spillways and we are not anticipating any flooding downstream from there as you go through the Energy Corridor and into Memorial. And then finally in Southeast Harris County, Clear Creek from FM 15 1959 to Nassau Bay. Every single channel marker uh, coming in with flooding likely. So guys, it's going to take a while for these uh, streams and riverways and, and, and waterways to go down. The good news though, we've got quiet weather coming up for that. And we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a few minutes. Well, we certainly can use the good news, all things considering this 